Hey, and welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac. Get ready for an irresistibly easy homemade topping sauce recipe. Let me quickly show you how to make a Guinness chocolate sauce. Let's go. Begin with the prep work, and I have a full list of the ingredients in the description section below, so check it out. You're gonna love this recipe. You can make it in a matter of minutes. Grab your board, your blade, and some semi-sweet chocolate. I'm using 56% cacao, one and a half cups, 270 grams. Chop it up to leprechaun size, nice and small. Great work so far. That's probably the hardest part of making this chocolate sauce. So that takes care of one delicious treat that everybody loves. What's another delicious treat? Ah, oh, beer. Guinness Extra Stout that has a delicious, rich, dynamic, coffee-like taste with a touch of bitterness that goes really well with the sweet chocolate sauce. For this recipe, you'll need one cup or 250 milliliters. And I bet you're wondering if the foam is part of that one cup measurement. Nope, it is not. Just measure the dark liquid up to the one cup point. So that's it for the sauce prep work, but you know what goes really well with this sauce? Brownies and ice cream. So I'm gonna make some brownies, why the heck not? They're simple, fast, and easy to make. Just buy that store-bought brownie mix, skillfully load up that baking dish, pop it into the oven, and while it bakes, you can smell those delicious chocolate smells, and you can make your chocolate topping sauce recipe. Start off with the Guinness beer, one cup, 250 milliliters, poured into the saucepan off heat. for a wee bit of sweetness. Granulated sugar, three quarters of a cup, 155 grams. Run over to your pantry and grab unsweetened cocoa powder, half of a cup or 35 grams. Time for a pinch of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon will do. Grab your whisk and mix away, trying to dissolve that sugar and incorporate that cocoa powder into the beer. After you give it a few strokes, turn your burner up to medium heat. The goal here is to bring the sauce to a simmer. Once it starts to simmer, turn the heat to low and cook for about five minutes. And whatever you do, do not walk away because if you do, you'll come back and your sauce, it'll be all over your range and not in that saucepan anymore and you'll have a little extra cleaning to do. Plus, it's a good idea to keep stirring that sauce. It's been five minutes, you can turn off the heat, the alcohol, it's cooked off, the sugar, it's dissolved, the cocoa powder, it's mixed in well. Grab those chocolate chunks and pour them in. Make sure the chocolate chunks are fully submerged in the liquid and let them sit for two to five minutes to melt slowly into the sauce. Here's an optional addition, you don't have to put it in if you don't want to, but cayenne pepper, it really does enhance the flavor. A dash will do you. Another great flavor enhancing option would be espresso powder. Last but not least, two teaspoons, 10 milliliters, vanilla. You're doing a great job, you're almost done. I'm sure your mouth is watering and you're ready to dive in, but grab that spatula, give it a quick mix. And if you have a whisk, you might wanna give it a once over. It does help make it silky smooth. Once everything is dissolved and your Guinness chocolate sauce looks absolutely irresistible, grab a bowl or a glass jar, pour it in. You can let it sit and cool for a bit or you can have it on the spot. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. It's really so quick and easy. Just break up the chocolate, throw everything into the pot, let it melt, boom, you're done. This chocolate topping sauce recipe makes two cups or 500 milliliters, but you know what? It doesn't last. Once it's made, boom, it vanishes, all gone. Yes, this topping sauce is that good. Well, thanks Sauce and Gravy Nation for watching. If you found this recipe helpful, smash that like button. And hey, if you're not part of the Sauce and Gravy community just quite yet, hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? It's free and you'll have access to a wide variety of sauce making tips and techniques. Thanks again for watching and remember, keep whisking y'all. Oh yeah, that is good.